Hello, hello, my earth sign. So that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Today's reading will be for the month of February. And yes, I know I'm starting a few days later, but uh, what the heck. Decided to just have the inspiration to do um, the elements for readings for this month. So let's jump in. Now, just because we are in February does not mean this has to be a love reading. So, but we will see as we go. I may or may not use the same cards for all the elements. I'm going to go with what I am guided to go with. So let's see what we're working with for the earth signs this month. So I'm going to move these guys out of the way. I did pre-shuffle a bit, but okay, let's pull some cards. Ooh, we have upheaval. My camera's a little blocked here, so I don't can't really see this. Okay, yeah, upheaval. I want to make sure you guys can see it. We have divine guidance. Okay, so you could be receiving some divine guidance when it comes to some triggers and upheaval in your life uh, for this month. And we have action. So there could you could be receiving that divine guidance to take action to work through this upheaval that is coming up this month. Let's get some tarot to uh, get some more messages here. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Don't mind me, I'm a little clumsy. I'm sure you guys are used to that by now. Wouldn't be me if I wasn't clumsy. Okay. Let's get some messages for upheaval. What is this upheaval? Okay, so we have the Four of Cups in reverse. You could be... A little closed off this month when it comes to seeing some opportunities that are being presented to you. Um, there's a bit of stubbornness here. Uh, let's get some more. Okay, so we have wisdom. I believe that is the hermit in this deck. Uh... I'm fairly certain. Let me just see if I can find the book just to make sure. Good thing I double checked since I don't use this deck often. <laughs> it's the Hierophant. So there could be the Hierophant is also not only is it related to spiritual wisdom. Uh, there is some um, there could be some sort of issues when it comes to certain commitments in your life. Um, yeah. Okay, so there could be some, you may be having some upheaval when it comes to certain commitments in your life and you may not be prioritizing at this time. Um, hmm. What else do we have here? This is interesting. You know, I had the thought in my head and I just completely lost it. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull another card and if it if it comes up, I have to, if I remember it, it'll come up. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and that's interesting. We had the Nine of Pentacles in reverse in the reading for the... Um, the air signs. Just gonna move these guys out of the way. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that there could be some upheaval when it comes to um, really nurturing those goals and something you're you're wanting to bring to fruition. Um, you may also be a little self-absorbed at the during this month 
and maybe the upheaval that's taking a lot of that attention away from these commitments towards these goals. Okay, so let's move on to divine guidance and see what we have there. So I'm going to jump into the Mystic Mondays tarot and see what we have. Okay, Mystic Mondays tarot. Really need more space. I should really do this at a bigger table. Okay. So, Divine Guidance. We have the Ace of Wands. I see that you could be receiving Divine Guidance when it comes to bringing awareness to you during this time, this month. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. This month you could be a little over-emotional or overreactive when it comes to certain things and um, there's these um, upheavals are there to help bring you awareness and these emotions are there to help bring you awareness when it comes to healing so let's get one more message here before we move on to action okay so Okay, so we have that Hierophant again, except for this time it's in reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see that you're a bit back and forth when it comes to certain commitments in your life. and Or, sorry, during this month <laughs> in your life. And this upheaval could be related to this imbalance. And the divine is helping to bring awareness to help you realign everything and get you back on track when it comes to your commitments and your journey. Let's see if there's any other messages here. Hmm. Okay, so I'm also seeing that you could be trying to break free from certain beliefs, um, possibly uh, through childhood or past lives, and this also could be causing you upheaval if that resonates for some of you, uh, take that message, because this is also about... Um, it could be about religion and spiritual beliefs, uh, old traditions. Maybe you were told to things had to be a certain way within your family and you're trying to break free of that and go your own way. So you're um, having faith in divine, gu divine guidance to help guide you when it comes to healing these limiting beliefs and breaking free and going your own way <laughs> just had that song pop into my head uh go your own way <laughs> okay so let's go into action and i'm going to jump into my other deck here okay action so for action i am seeing so far that this could be related to that need to break free and go off into your own di direction. This could be a great time for you to take action when it comes to working on that and healing that. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. <laughs> you guys have a lot of conflicting cards here. So we have the Hierophant twice and we have the Knight of Cups twice. And they're both, one's upright and one's in reverse. So February could be a really uh, out of balance month for you if you are experiencing that. Um, so I just want to make sure this is the night. Yes, it's the night. 
Okay. So you could be feeling really inspired and getting that um, intuitive hit to take action when it comes to certain areas of your life. Let's get some more messages. Okay. Wow, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is, you guys, you earth signs are really interesting. <laughs> okay, so we have the Ace of Wands in reverse this time. You could be lacking clarity when it comes to taking action when moving forward. Um, the Knight of Cups could also be in regards to a romantic relationship. Um, if you are wanting to pursue somebody and take action to a special, take action with a special somebody, um, you may not be sure if the feelings will be reciprocated or you, this could be an unrequited love. You may have to jump into mm, the romance angels, possibly a different deck to see what's going on there, but I want to get one more card. Okay, so we have the king of wands. You could be feeling very passionate when it comes to making certain moves and taking action towards certain um, either goals or relationships during this time. And though you could be lacking some clarity this month and unsure in which direction to um, go, uh, the King of Wands reminds you that it's always best to go in the direction that really sparks your passion. Okay, and so what I'm also noticing here with now that all these cards are out is we do have a lot of cups and we have a lot of wands. So another message that I'm getting is that you could be juggling to maybe two different people in your life. If you are in a romantic connection, if this resonates for some of you. Um, so there could be like a fire sign in your life or a cup sign and you could be juggling them back and forth. Unsure which, um, which one to choose. If that resonates for some of you, if not, um, there could also be, uh, if it's not juggling somebody here, there could be these signs that are really, uh, active during this time in your life. Also with the cups, um, I'm seeing that this is, could be a very emotional month for you and the wands are all about passion. So there's a lot of emotion and a lot of passion going through with February. Okay, so I believe that concludes the reading. I believe I got everything I need to say out there. It feels complete to me. And I will see you guys next month. Take care.